What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Southern Life, and with me is Catherine the Great, who is beyond you guys at the moment, decided not to say hello. Hi. Hi. I am here. I am enjoying my tour of Publix's, Starbucks. And all types and... of other millennial crap. Yes. I am looking for him to take me to a store in Pelham tomorrow. What are you? Karen the Great or something? Apparently. You can't just go to another town on a weekday because you feel like I got work. Anyways, there's a Publix here and it's actually the nicest Publix I've personally ever been to. I can't recall a nicer Publix than this. I would imagine the one in Doral might have been nicer inside, but we didn't go inside of that Publix. But very nice. This is um, the Pike Road area. Closer to Mount Meigs to be exact. Seems like a nice area. Uh, there's nothing on the internet about the Mount Meigs area, so I figured, hey, let me do a video here. This is on the east side of Montgomery, and uh, it's just got their first Publix. This area is growing fast, so there's there's more need for stuff than there is stuff. It's a fast-growing suburban area, so they're just now getting set up with stuff out here. Mm -hmm. um, this might have not been much in the past, but it's definitely a nice suburb now. Uh, getting their Publixes, new stores and stuff coming in. You see their building here. Lots of construction. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour. Seems fairly diverse too, huh? I saw uh, about half and white to black ratio seems about half and half, right? Yes. I saw Koreans and I saw Latinos in there, so it's very diverse for being in Alabama, not in general, but uh, for being in Alabama, not, not bad. Not bad at all. We also did a video inside that public, so you'll be able to watch that on our channel as well. Mm -hmm. There's a really nice Chevron gas station right here, which... They have gasoline and people there. Yeah, there's also a, a Mexican restaurant, San Marcos. They're everywhere. It's not a really nice community. I love how they have a palm tree by their gas station. Their gas station looks pretty clean as well. It doesn't look trashy or country. It's not, it's not like a gas station in Pasco County, Florida. <laughs> I, it, I'm looking to head down there soon. Yeah. They were like, well, you never went from Florida, where you go back so often? Because we're on vacation. That's why you're supposed to go to Florida. People are so dumb. Like, if you moved away from Florida, why do you go back all the time? Oh, it's private. Yeah. Oh, dang. I thought I could just drive into this community and show yeah. it to you guys. Maybe the gate will open. Dang, it's gated. I, was, I saw it on Google Maps. I'm like, yo, that looks really nice. I wanted to go in here. Most of the, maybe it'll open if you pull up to the gate. Let's just see if it does it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't need a code. Sometimes you can just pull right up to the gate. Mm -hmm. And it'll open for you. No. Oh, dang, it's really gated. Yeah. I don't want us in there. Well, All right. You got to put a code to get it's, in. It's gated for real, yo. Dang. All right. Lockshire. Dang. So let's try to find another community. All right. There's not too much gated stuff in the Montgomery metropolitan area. No. But most of the stuff that is gated will be here on the east side. Yes. All right. So uh, we're back to Florida now. We're not allowed in. But yeah, people are like, why do you always go back to Florida if you don't have that anymore? Uh, we, yeah, we, we go on vacation. That, that's kind of why you go to Florida. And by the way, we're going on vacation a lot. Mm -hmm. Like... We're going on vacation like a whole lot more than we've ever been able to in our whole life. So yeah, we're doing all right. Mm -hmm. There's a DG here. All right. Dollar General. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much expected in any rural part of the country. I think they have I'm one on the moon here. now. Yeah, there's a new Dollar General opening up on the moon. Um, I like that it's mixed black and white. And you know, when they built this Pike Road, they thought it was all going to be white people. Like, really, I was talking to a guy that lives out here, um, and uh, he's African American, and he was telling me, you know, when they built this whole Pike Road, they really thought that this would get filled in with white people. And uh, it turns out that's not really what happened. There's actually a lot of African Americans who were able to afford living out here. And this is an area that's kind of gotten populated by African Americans um, I don't know if we'll be able to get in the community over there it might be gated too, they might all be gated guys I want to show you guys what some of these communities look like out here but it's starting to look like they're all gated which is kind of expected in a fancy suburban area 
Let's see if we can get into some of these. Something has to be open. No, it's gated too. You can definitely see the gate in this one. So, um, you know, suburban areas behind gated walls. There's no gate on that one. That's the shopping center you were just No, there. behind it. The one on the left. Yeah. I'm looking at the map and I can kind of see where the new developments are. Most are gated. Just about every one of those houses has a, not all, but like just about every last one of them has a pool. I worked in the Mount Migs area. Let me tell you, it was really nice. But, uh, yeah, when they built this whole area here, they kind of expected, they really expected uh, it to be a white area because, you know, affordability and all that. But it turns out a lot of black people can afford to live out here, and they have. And uh, that caught a lot of people off guard. So it seems like it's a nice area, diverse, um, you know, nice. I, w I wouldn't mind living out here. It's just, I like it. Yeah, nice suburban stuff going on suburban stuff um, lots of nice houses let's see if I can cruise to a residential area that's not gated maybe this street right here yeah it's definitely not gated cool it's a very short street very short street here houses look brand new oh that sandwich from Publix I can smell the sandwich from Publix do I need to pull it out um I'll eat it quietly at home okay you could probably make that meat tomorrow yeah. Yeah, there's no rush. I mean, you can eat whatever. You know, you got your sushi for yourself, right? Yeah, I got sushi, sushi. I paid for I sushi. Yeah. You pay for sushi a lot, actually. I don't pay for sushi. If you want sushi, you have. To, I mean, I'll pay you if you want to buy a ribeye. It's on me. But I'm not paying for sushi. I'm just not doing. It. Uh, there's 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 only a limit to how far I'll go with this whole gentrification thing. Okay. No one has asked you to eat it. You're trying to gentrify me. Look at these big pine trees. I love that. Oh, this is a much bigger street. It might be like 10 houses here. So there's a lot of short dead end streets here. So it seems like if you don't live here, you don't go in here. Private drive. Okay. Well, I got to. I can't really back up. Now I got to drive into it. But yeah, they definitely don't want uh, people like me. Let me see where I can turn around here. It seems pretty pretty narrow in here. I don't see nice. that turn around. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, these are nice, nice suburbs. So if you're thinking about the Montgomery area and you can stretch into the three or $400,000 price range, ooh, a soda can, I must hit it. Oh, I got it. Now our car smells like beer. I'm sorry, I've been here a while now. <laughs> I've been in this area long enough to where these things excite me. Running over a beer can is like an exciting thing. The cop pulls me over. Sir, you smell like alcohol. My guess, we ran over a beer can. Did he really? Was it full? Oh man, somebody lost a beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I've been here long enough to get excited over running over a beer can. And that was a full beer can, too. That was exciting. Oh, do you feel it? Like, you, oh, you felt that pop, right? Yes. Oh, that was exhilar exhilarating. Is that a word that I can use it to describe? It is over there. It might have been a Pepsi. Oh, I'm what? hoping it was a beer. Because then our cars would smell like beer for days. Definitely a beer. Was that it? It looks like Pepsi. Oh, man. That was like, exhilarating. Mm -hmm. That's how I would describe it. Yeah. That's not even a word I use in my vocabulary. we got to get out of here. It's probably. Yeah. Um, there was just nowhere to turn around with these big tires. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. You got two okay. landscaping crews here working. What's that look about? Down, down, down. Yeah, I can't read. You're going to have to, like, text it to me or something because I can't read your thoughts. And you're horrible at sign language. I don't know if you do that. I love when Katie's trying to tell me something behind the screens. And I have no idea what she's trying to tell me. Now, as you can see, these are our gated communities. Oh, okay. You live there? Yeah. You like it that much? I like it. It's pretty. No, this is really nice. And I've worked for... Were you with me when I worked over here one day? Yes, I was. Yeah, it was really nice. I'm always with you. Yeah, I worked for a customer out here in Mount Meigs, and it was gorgeous. Yeah. Here's the entrance to Mount Meigs community. Mm -hmm. Now, there's, you know, the old Mount Meigs, and there's, like, all the suburbs that have sprung up around it. And at some point, we might have been in Pike Road. Who cares? 
Mount Meigs, Pike Road. Who cares? You get the idea. We're out here somewhere. But I worked here in Mount Meigs. Um, it's all kind of really spread out. But I worked out here for a customer. It was really nice. I mean, the community was like these giant open, you know, like estate looking places. Flagger ahead. We're getting flagged. Flagger ahead. See, they're, I think they're really building the communities and stuff. Mm -hmm. I guess it was for here. They're building a new community. This is prime development. Yeah. You ever see a white guy that you swear it's, might be a Cuban? All the time. All the time. Like, somebody looks like they look really Cuban. Mm -hmm. And like you wait for them to talk just to see if they sound like they're Cuban. But then instead of, hey, man, I'm Cuban, man, then you get like, man, I tell you what. And then he's not Cuban. There's a school here, Pike Road. So Pike Road and Mount Meigs kind of, you know, like, oh, here it is, the Mount Meigs Supermarket. Super, super Red. What's a Super Red? I don't know. Super Red, Super Red, But super I am red. interested oh, in it's knowing. Oh, that's a nice little, yeah. So, like, with the old Mount Meigs Town Center, it's not much. It's just, like, a point on a map, basically. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. By the way, um, I have junk removal jobs I could probably go on, but I'm taking care of you guys today because I wanted to. I gotta take a break. I mean, these junk removal jobs back to back kill you. So every once in a while, I take a break yeah. and work for you guys instead. I think we're at our every other day type of thing. Yeah, one we're day junk, town. one day videos. Kind of keep it nice and fresh. And it's not so harsh on his stomach. Yeah, because let me tell you, those trash outs, man, they are rough. That's one house on the road. Yes. They have their own street name, but it's just one house on the road. But here, there's like old houses and stuff, and. Um, but there's a lot of rural parts that are spread out. It's not a bad area at all. So if you're thinking about Mount Meigs, um, it's not a bad area. I mean, there's some nice rural streets. I can't think of anything Whoa. being wide tires. I like it. Yeah, wide tires, man. There's a, a few little abandoned buildings and stuff, but it shouldn't concern you. It's, it's a good suburban area. There's a huge industrial park here where I threw up when I first moved to Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's what everyone wants to know. Yeah, it's like I threw up here. And yeah, good details. I'm starting to sound like you. So it's called a uh, Progress Rail. So there's a lot of commercial parks here now hiring uh, electrical starting. Yeah, so if you're looking for a job, they're hiring right there. Yeah. And it's not at a fast uh, fast food. There's Interstate 85 right there, and there's a lot of industry here. So lots of little commercial parks and stuff. So yeah. Not bad at all. If you're looking at the Mount Meigs area, I definitely recommend it. I know that's a very brief tour. We can always come back and do another one. Um, most of the parts in Mount Meigs are kind of rural, kind of, uh, you know, new subdivisions that are gated that I can't get into, or rural streets that are just kind of to themselves, but nonetheless, nice area with a lot of economical activity. I definitely recommend it. And that is a tour of Mount Meigs. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button is and there's one last thing i want to show you guys before i let this video go there's a giant brick right there you can see it there's a brick company there and they have a giant brick on the left you can see the giant brick and on the right you'll see interstate 85 which goes from montgomery to atlanta all right guys checking out from mount migs area